What's up everyone, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to be talking about compression modes, compression types, and what the difference is between them, um, what uses you should be using them in, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, what I'm talking about. If you go to the compression or the compressor inside of Logic, you can see that the circuit type, there is many different kinds. And I'm going to be talking about each one of those, all right? And so let's talk about what that means. Why are there these different types? And what the logic compress compressor does is it models hardware. And the actual hardware that it is modeling, I do not have on hand. You can Google that and find the exact hardware that it is trying to model, which is always a good thing. But for what it's worth, all you need to know is that it's software created to model hardware. All right, And so that means that each one of these different types are going to be different. Uh, not by much, just because we're talking about compression. If we're talking about something like reverb, then it will sound different a lot. But since we're not in this about compression, the differences are ver going to be very, very small. And that's why, even though I have each one of these tracks created with the actual different compressor on each one, even if I play these for you, you are not going to tell because the audio on YouTube isn't the highest quality. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate this file, this program, and I am going to put it on Mediafire. Go download it from Mediafire. Take a listen to each one of these tracks, solo each one of them out, and listen to it. Then put, you know, a guitar track on it, you know, a bass track on it. See which one you like for which, for, you know, each, see what compression type you like for each instrument. Um, and write it down, remember it, so you can use it in your Logic sessions later. All right, so let's go through each one. As I was putting on these plat or these different compression modes, I was really listening to kind of see what the difference was between each of them. So I wrote down the differences that I could tell. All right, and that and they are right here, like a freaking best. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's start with platinum. Platinum, I felt was had a very very slow attack and release, a very very slow response time, which made it overall kind of dull. And the, well, I mean, this platinum setting is actually not a representation of hardware. This is the original algorithm that Logic used for their first compression. Um, I bet they have since remodeled it and redone it, but it is Logic based. It's not uh, built from any any kind of different hardware. All right. And since it has a slow attack and release, and it is kind of dull, I would say it would be really, really good for leveling dynamics. If you have a track that is very loud in some spots and very low in some spots, slap a platinum-type compressor on that track and uh, level those dynamics out. Now, the Class AR, I found, had a little bit faster of a response, but not by much. But this still kind of made it dull, all right? And so I'm going to be saying both platinum and Class AR are going to be used for leveling dynamics. Now, do not quote me on this. Go out and try it for yourself. Um, this is just what I found. This is per from personal experience here, okay? Now, the class AU, I've used uh, many times over, and that is because it has a very vintage and original sound. And I think why it has that vintage original sound is because it is very, very responsive, which is a good thing. All right. And that's why I'm saying for uses, everything, everything. I uh, can see it working really well on a guitar track, a bass track, a vocal track. If you're using vocals, do class AU. You will definitely tell the difference on your vocal quality. All right. Now, saying that, if you are the type of person that just likes slapping compression on whatever track, uh, make sure that it's class AU, just because it can go on just about everything. All right. So let's talk about VCA. What I found was that it was super sensitive. When you start messing with the threshold of it, the gain reduction jumps everywhere. And I can't really see it used for any single type of instrument or track. So I am going to be saying any track that needs something different. All right. So if you have two vocal tracks, one beside each other, um, say put one on Class AU like normal, maybe the maybe the main track, and then the backing track, maybe put some VCA compression on it, um, make it stand out, make it different from each other. 
why the hell not? You know what I'm saying? All right, so F-E-T. What I found was it was a very thick sounding. It was a very full sounding compression. And so what I thought and what I feel that it is really good for is parallel compression. Parallel compression on, you know, that bus, that auxiliary track. And then also, finally, drums, okay? That's a big thing. It's a very big thing. So um, you want your drum sound to be very thick and full also. So you need to model that also with your compression. So, you know, put some FET on this drum track. Opto, I found, was very natural, but there was this weird little thing that happened when you compress it too much. Uh, the com when the compressor, compressor actually compressed the track, it would, like, make this sonic boom and that's obviously not a good thing so make sure how much compression or how much compressing that this opto sound is actually doing all right and i can see it using um being used on guitars and bass because it isn't very because guitars and place bass aren't very dynamically different uh so you are not going to need too much compression on those but it is a very very good sounding compression besides a fact. All right. So there you go. That's what I found. Go in and do it for yourself. Seriously, go download this project and listen to it. All right. Do it. Nike, just do it. Hell yeah. All right. So if you have any suggestions on future videos that I should be doing, please hit me up in the comments or in a message. If you have any questions on this video, on other videos, also do the exact same thing. But just in general, Comment, rate, subscribe like a bass. Just because I said so. Ho. That's right. Peace out.